Well, good morning, everyone. Here we are on March the 30th, Good Friday, Cross Day. And uh, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We celebrate that, we rejoice in it, we dance, we... Man, I, I'm so glad we're getting together with other churches tonight just to uh, lift up the name of Jesus. And uh, there's some of those songs that we've been uh, singing lately that, uh, ah, there's just something, some anointing, something incredible, it just igniting this love affair in my heart for our Lord and Savior. And it's, uh, it's good. I'm thankful for it. Uh, this morning, uh, we continue, or we've, we finished Joshua. <clears throat> And now we move on to Judges, and Judges is a is a hard book to read because it's it's a book f- full of the failures of, of Israel, and a lot of warning for us. But one of the, the the big failures, and it Yahweh was very very careful to mention on many occasions about teaching the children the commandments, but also passing on to the children the testimony, what the parents had seen, what they had experienced, so that they would be sensitive to God and uh, would have hearts filled with, with thanksgiving. And what happened, there was a, there was a failure of the generation of, of Joshua and the elders um, maybe they were just too busy. Maybe they were too busy with the wars. I, um, I don't know the reason why. <clears throat> but there's an instant failure. Even though it's just the, the generation that, that follows Moses, um, there's a failure to, to follow that simple commandment. Teach these to your children. Tell them about what you have seen. So that we read that after... The, the generation of elders that followed Joshua after the, 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 these are the ones who had seen as children, they had seen the miracles, they had seen what happened in Egypt, they had seen uh, the deliverance of God, they had, they had experienced his provision throughout the, the desert. They had seen his hand at work, they had seen the, the cloud and the, the, the pillar of, of fire. Um, they, they, they had they experienced the manna and, and everything else. When that generation died, the next started following other gods. They they did exactly what Yahweh told them not to do. There was there was nobody knew the commandments. It, it wasn't passed down to them. Um, they heard some of the stories, but it, it wasn't real to them. It's it's uh, it's sad. It's sad. <clears throat> but when we read the history of the church, we, we find that it's no different because there's a, a generation that will discover the power, the, the resurrection power, that will d- discover the, the intimacy with God, the, 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 the closeness, the walk, the, um, what God's plan is. Uh, they allow him to work his, his power through them and there's, there's miracles and there's healings and there's um, all kinds of things and, and great institutions rise up and, and, and the love of God is shown to people in every way with uh, looking after the poor with the, the church growing and, and looking after each other. And, but there's a failure to pass it on to the next generation. So in the history of the church, we see that there's a brilliant generation, then there's a dull generation. And then it's rediscovered and there's a brilliant generation and it's not passed on and there's a dull generation. And and I know I've been going on a lot about, about testimony recently about writing it down, passing it on to our children, letting them know why things are happening the way that they're happening. But you see, if we don't, we see what's happening. The all of judges is, is a result of the testimony not being passed down, of not teaching uh, the children of, of God's expectation, but also of his intercession. It, it's, it, it's an important thing that we do. So yeah, today today we celebrate the cross, but let's not just limit it to the cross. Let's this the whole weekend. It's about it's about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's a celebration of the resurrection. We are the manifestation of the resurrection. Our children should be able to see that in us. We we are not battle weary. We are we are not beat up. We are not destroyed. We are victorious. We we are overcomers because He has overcome. 
there, there's we're not a victim. I'm not a poor man. I, I, <laughs> don't let the enemy put that on you. Now, this morning there was a, I woke up at, at ten to six and there was such an oppressive spirit. I had to get up and pray. And as soon as I entered into that, into that fellowship, into into that intimacy, in, into that, it just phew, dispersed, gone. And I was able to intercede for uh, in a lot of situations and, and, and for, for, for you and the church and, and everything. And just celebrate, celebrate the king. Yeah, it's um, the enemy wants to rob us, wants to rob our children. We can't let him do that. We have to know who we are in Christ and rise up and be that. So let this day be a day of celebration, but let's celebrate everything. Let's celebrate all of his goodness. Let's celebrate all the good things that he has given to us. He is good. So those of us who are gathering tonight, I, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. Praying that the spirit will just burst in upon us. and Regardless of what agenda we, we have in our mind, that uh, he, he'll, he'll, he'll bring about what Father wants as we gather together. That we'll be knit together, knit together for the different churches that are coming together. We'll just be, we'll be one. We'll sing as one. And um, yeah, let this be a brilliant weekend, shall we? God bless.